carbon atom and a hydrogen atom form what type of bond in a molecule? What type of bond do carbon and hydrogen form? Okay, so for this question actually, it really is just asking for this bond here. And you know what type of bond it forms based on the electronegativity, okay? Because um, the ranges, as it says, it states in terms of what type of bond you get. Uh, between an electronegativity difference of less than 0 0.4, this is a nonpolar covalent bond, okay? Now, if it's between um, 0.4, and uh, 1.6, this is a polar covalent bond. If it's greater than 2.0, this is the ionic bond. And now the caveat is between 1.6 and 2.0, and typically like anything else, if it's a metal and a non-metal bonded, that's an ionic bond. And if it's two non-metals still bonded and it still creates like a value that's quite high, that will still be a, considered a polar covalent bond. So it depends usually what type of uh, things are bonded with each other. So with all that being said, let's look at the electronegativity for carbon and hydrogen, okay? So carbon has an electronegativity of 2.55 and hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.20. Subtract so together to find the difference, and we get that the difference is 0 0.35. So it falls in the range here of the nonpolar covalent bond, okay? So that means that carbon and hydrogen form a non, let me just write the answer in red, a nonpolar covalent bond. Okay. And that is really the answer there. And as you can see here, they measure the electronegativity and 3.35 difference is a non-polar covalent bond. Okay, so that means the electrons are shared evenly between them relatively and um, there's no poles formed in a carbon hydrogen bond. So now question 17. Thank <laughs> you.